Today we're going to do a how-to tilt focus. A Schneider Kreuznach 28mm uh, PC lens. Tilt and also the shift feature. Now we're going to focus on it. Okay, we have a focus there. I'm going to add that tilt which I did before. Cushion crisp focus. Perfect. Today we're going to do a how-to tilt focus. I've been asked to do this because I did a segment the other day and people and I didn't go in the detail of how I actually did the focusing. So this is for you guys. It's a step by step how to focus your camera. All right, we're going to for this we're going to use a Schneider Kreuznach 28 millimeter uh, PC lens, which has the uh, tilt and also the shift feature. All right, uh, that's hooked up to a GFX 100 plus a, um, uh, an adapter which is made by the factory called Mirex in Germany. Uh, with that, uh, we're going to now have to understand an important thing. And that is that when you do uh, focusing with a tilt, in architectural photography you have a choice. It's either going to focus on the ceiling or it's going to focus on the floor. You can't do both at the same time. So what we need to do is to take the ceiling out of this picture and just concentrate on the floor. To do that is very easy. Let's have a look at this rig. You see this room here? We're just going to put, add some shift to it and we're just going to take the ceiling out and here we are. Okay, so that's that. Now we can go ahead and worry about the focus. And to say, this is the second thing was that you can do two ways of uh, finding your focus point. One is a mathematical way, which means that you take a tape, you measure the, f the furthest point you want in focus, you measure the closest thing in focus, take those figures, put the lens information inside a calculator, and it will spit out a degree for you. This ring is in degrees. This one goes to zero to eight degrees of tilt. That's one way. The other way is which I use, and not being a mathematician, I find it easy just to also, you, once you've done this for a while, you know where that the sweet spot is automatically just by instinct. But anyway, we're going to go through it and show you how we do it by, til by trial and error. So we're going to take this thing and we're going to add now uh, quite a bit of tilt onto this just so that it's exaggerated. It won't work. But the reason we're doing that will become clear. Let me show you first this ring up here. Ah, let me take the tilt out. It's better this way. Okay. Up here, we have the focus ring. This focus ring is really no good to see, so you see where you're going. You notice that when I turned it clockwise, this is clockwise for me, uh, with, we're getting closer focus. When I do it anti-clockwise, we're going further out with the focus. This is all fine and good to have this ring there, but unfortunately, uh, Schneider decided only to put it on one side. So it, now it's underneath, you can't see it. They put the uh, aperture uh, ring on both sides, but not the focus. So there's a way around this. I have a little pen here in my pocket, and we're going to use that. So let's look inside here first of all. And I, you'll see that I've put two focus screens in this picture. So here we have one focus screen. Uh, let's uh, zoom in on that focus screen here. OK. Now we're going to focus on it. This is very easy. There are three rings in. Know your lens so you don't have to look. You just go one, two, three. So you know where you are on your focus. OK, we have a focus there. So this is it. Let's zoom out. And what we're going to do is going to take this and just add a little dot there. So now we have this line here and that dot. That will be used to, to see what's going to happen. All right. Now, I'm going to add that tilt, which I did before, quite exaggerated. Uh, let's go down here, uh, zoom in and uh, to the first screen in the front foreground. All right, zoom in on that picture there, and we do the focus. All right, one, two, three, here, the ring there, focus is there. Good enough for me. Zoom out, run all the way up to the other focus. Right here on the back wall, we have another board. Zoom in on that, and now we're going to do this and focus. Let's have a look at where this line is. You notice the line is pretty much where it was before, OK? But now, to focus what has happened here, you'll see that this has gone way on the inside. What does that mean? That we're now going 
closer. And that means that the tilt is too much. So when you have to move clockwise, the focus, there's just reduce the tilt. We know it's too much. I'm going to put a tilt on. Uh, I actually happen to know this is going to be around a one, somewhere around there. Let's go back and do our focus here again. Zoom down to this board here. Get it in focus. Bang, here we go. One, two, three with the ring. We have focus. Zoom out. Let's move it up to the top. Mark this point here. It's just past there. Let's do our focus here. And it's more or less exactly in the same spot. So this tells us that we're, we found the sweet spot. You could tune it in a little bit more because you did move it. So just a little more crank in there would make it perfect. But let's not worry about that. That's a simple way of doing it. So let's have a look now. Did we actually succeed in doing this focus or not? So let's zoom out. Let's take a picture here. Oh, we've got a picture coming in. One, two, three. Okay. So picture is taken. We have this picture. Let's zoom, let's, uh, zoom in on the picture here. Here it is. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Whoops, that's zooming out. Here, let's drop this down. Look at the board, completely in focus. Look at that cushion, crisp focus. All the way there, focus. We can zoom in even a little bit more uh, to the back to see how that looks. Perfect, everything, backboard, back ring, focusing board back there. So everything is in focus. So we can zoom out now, and we know that we've achieved with an F8 uh, which is what I used for this picture. Normally, I shoot everything at 16, but this one here is f8, because we could even have done it at, uh, at 4, f4 or something like that. But f8 is probably the sweet spot on this lens, which is good to do. So we're going to use that. Uh, and uh, that's it. We've got perfect focus. Now you know how to do it. I hope it helped. Goodbye.